smiles in shadows, the ruins of Bayview. The streets of Bayview, once vibrant with the sounds of everyday life, now echoed with an eerie chorus of laughter. Sarah navigated through the throngs of people, her heart heavy with unease. The city had become a surreal landscape where joy had twisted into something sinister. As a seasoned paramedic, Sarah had seen her fair share of tragedies, but nothing prepared her for the sight of the window washer dangling perilously from the skyscraper. His laughter rang out like a discordant melody, sending shivers down her spine. It wasn't the laughter of amusement or relief but something darker, something unnerving. Sarah pushed through the crowd, her eyes scanning the faces for any hint of sanity. But all she found was a sea of grins, each more manic than the last. Even her partner, Ben, once a pillar of strength, now wore a permanent smile that didn't reach his eyes. It was as if the laughter had consumed him, leaving behind only a hollow shell. Two weeks had passed since the first reported case of the Smilers, as they had come to be known. At first, it was dismissed as a strange phenomenon, a curious quirk of human nature. But as the laughter spread like wildfire, infecting more and more people with each passing day, it became clear that this was something far more sinister. Sarah couldn't shake the feeling of dread that gripped her heart. The laughter, once a sign of joy and happiness, had become a harbinger of doom. It was a constant reminder of the fragile line between sanity and madness, a line that seemed to blur more with each passing moment. As she made her way through the city streets, Sarah couldn't help but wonder what had caused this epidemic of laughter. Was it a virus, a chemical spill, or something even more insidious? Whatever the cause, one thing was certain, Bayview would never be the same again. With a heavy heart, Sarah continued on her path, her mind racing with unanswered questions. But one thing was clear, if they were to survive this nightmare, they would need to uncover the truth behind the laughter in the ruins of Bayview. Sarah's search for answers led her to Dr. Ishida Patel, a brilliant immunologist who seemed to be one of the few unaffected by the contagious laughter plaguing Bayview. In the dimly lit basement of an abandoned building turned makeshift lab, Ishida worked tirelessly, analyzing blood samples and searching for a cure. It's not just laughter, Ishida explained, her voice strained with exhaustion. It's a loss of control, a surrender to something primal and terrifying. Sarah watched as Ishida meticulously examined the samples under a microscope, her brow furrowed in concentration. It was clear that she was fighting against time, racing to unlock the secrets of this mysterious affliction before it consumed them all. We've identified a genetic anomaly, Ishida continued, her eyes alight with a flicker of hope amidst the darkness. A small percentage of the population seems to be immune to the contagion. You're one of them, Sarah. The revelation sent a surge of conflicting emotions coursing through Sarah's veins. Relief, that she might be spared from the horrors that had befallen so many others. Guilt, that she couldn't share in their suffering. And fear, that she might be powerless to stop the spread of this insidious plague. As they worked together, Sarah learned more about the true nature of the contagion. It wasn't simply a matter of infectious laughter, it was a complete breakdown of the mind and body, a descent into madness from which there seemed to be no return. They're not themselves anymore, Ishida murmured, her voice tinged with sadness. They've become puppets, controlled by something beyond our understanding. Sarah couldn't shake the feeling of dread that settled over her like a suffocating blanket. Every day brought new reports of chaos and destruction, as the smilers wreaked havoc on the once thriving city of Bayview. But amidst the despair, a small glimmer of hope began to emerge. With Ishida's guidance, Sarah began to assemble a ragtag group of survivors, each with their own unique skills and strengths. There was Mark, a grizzled ex-soldier with a steely resolve, and Emily, a young runaway whose innocence belied a fierce determination to survive. Together, they formed a fragile alliance, bound together by a common goal, to find a way to stop the laughter before it consumed them all. But as they ventured deeper into the heart of the infected city, they would soon discover that the true horror lay not in the laughter itself, but in the darkness that lurked behind it. The group's journey through the twisted streets of Bayview was fraught with peril at every turn. As they ventured further from the relative safety of their makeshift hideout, they encountered scenes of unimaginable horror. Mark's stoic demeanor began to crack as they stumbled upon families trapped in nightmarish scenarios. Fathers played with their children with manic glee, their laughter echoing off the crumbling buildings. Mothers wandered the streets in a daze, their eyes vacant and empty. It was as if the contagion had stripped away their humanity, leaving behind only hollow shells. Each encounter left a bitter taste in their mouths, a reminder of the fragility of their own sanity. But they pressed on, driven by a sense of duty and desperation to find a way to end the madness that had consumed their city. Their journey led them to the heart of Bayview, where the laughter seemed to echo endlessly through the deserted streets. It was there, 
amidst the ruins of what was once a thriving metropolis, that they made a chilling discovery. A group of smilers had gathered in a deserted square, their laughter mingling with the eerie silence of the city. As the group watched in horror, the smilers began to enact a twisted parody of a feast, their laughter growing louder and more manic with each passing moment. Mark clenched his fists in anger, his eyes blazing with righteous fury. This ends now, he declared, his voice ringing out like a clarion call in the darkness. But as they moved to confront the smilers, they realized the true extent of the horror that surrounded them. These were not mindless drones, driven only by the urge to laugh. They were intelligent, cunning, and utterly devoid of humanity. In the chaos that followed, the group was separated, each member forced to confront their own inner demons. Emily, tempted by the promise of shared laughter, was lured away by the smilers, leaving behind only a trail of broken promises and shattered dreams. Mark, consumed by rage and grief, sought vengeance against those who had taken everything from him. With a fierce determination burning in his heart, he led a desperate assault against the smilers, determined to make them pay for their sins. And Ishida, haunted by the guilt of her failure to find a cure, clung to the hope that somewhere, amidst the madness, there was still a chance for redemption. But as the laughter echoed through the streets, drowning out all hope of salvation, Sarah stood at the crossroads, faced with a choice that would determine the fate of them all. Sarah stood at the crossroads, her heart heavy with indecision. Around her, the city echoed with the haunting laughter of the smilers, a constant reminder of the horrors that lurked just beyond the crumbling facades of Bayview. Mark's desperate assault had ended in tragedy, his valiant efforts falling short against the relentless tide of madness that threatened to consume them all. Emily was lost to them, drawn into the darkness by the promise of shared laughter and fleeting moments of joy. Ishida's hope for a cure had dwindled with each passing day, her once bright eyes now clouded with despair. But still, she clung to the belief that somewhere, buried beneath the layers of madness and chaos, there was a glimmer of hope for redemption. But as Sarah looked out over the ruined city, she knew that the time for hope had passed. The contagion had spread too far, its tendrils twisting and turning through the shattered remnants of civilization, leaving nothing but destruction in its wake. Faced with the grim reality of their situation, Sarah made a decision. It was a decision born not out of desperation or fear, but out of a fierce determination to fight for survival against impossible odds. We can't give up, she declared, her voice ringing out like a clarion call in the darkness. We may be few in number, but we are not powerless. As long as we draw breath, there is still hope. With Ishida's guidance, they began to formulate a plan. It was a plan born out of desperation and necessity, a last-ditch effort to stem the tide of madness that threatened to engulf them all. As they moved through the ruined streets of Bayview, they encountered pockets of resistance, small groups of survivors who had managed to hold onto their humanity in the face of overwhelming despair. Together, they formed a ragtag army, united in their determination to fight back against the smilers and the darkness that had consumed their city. But as they drew closer to the heart of the contagion, they realized that their greatest challenge still lay ahead. The smilers were not mindless drones, driven only by the urge to laugh. They were intelligent, cunning, and utterly devoid of humanity. In the final, climactic battle, Sarah and her companions fought with everything they had, their courage and determination shining bright against the encroaching darkness. It was a battle of epic proportions, a struggle for survival against impossible odds. And in the end, it was their refusal to surrender, their unwavering belief in the power of hope and resilience, that carried them through. As the last echoes of laughter faded into the night, Sarah stood amidst the ruins of Bayview, a beacon of hope in a world consumed by darkness. For in the end, it was not the laughter of the smilers that defined them, but the strength of their spirit and the courage of their hearts. And as they looked out over the shattered remnants of their city, they knew that no matter what trials lay ahead, they would face them together, united in their determination to rebuild and reclaim what had been lost.